Alright, Susan. We're going to have some exciting focuses as we continue on with an exciting week here at HSN. But most importantly, today is the day of Rwanda's 15th anniversary of her association with Shapewear on HSN. We are so excited about it, and we may be very happy. Of course. Anyway. We've got some exciting friends. Would you go talk to somebody for a moment, Susan? Oh, sure, Peter, I will. I'm going to have to talk to a good friend of mine. His name is always is Matt. Hi, Matt. How are you? I'm doing great, Peter. You're on April the 12th. But... Check this out. We've got Nikita, and she didn't participate in Suzanne's show last night. Oh, I'm very sorry to hear about it, but unfortunately, things are doing great. They are the way they're supposed to be for now, because a friend of mine would love to have a cup of water, in this case. The plastic cup with the HSN name inside. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, we'd be so happy to tell you about many other people who have been in preparations in my mind for a considerable time. I don't know which time is considerable and which time is not to be considered. Who cares about a time like that, Peter? It's love at first sight. Anyway, Nikita is showing up right now. Hi, Nikita. Hi, Peter. I'm sorry I missed the first show of Rhonda's visit. Well, too bad. You might not be able to catch any of Rhonda's visit at all. Do you think so? Yes, Nikita, I really do. Well, you could be exactly right, Peter. And to prove a point, things are doing well. But I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to show up after the first show of Rhonda's visit with Suzanne. I missed it. Yeah, you did. Because... Everyone's very happy about it, and we want you to know that things are doing great here. We appreciate your love. Oh, well, you appreciate mine, too. Well, thank you. A lot of people love to accept many thanks. I would tell other peeps that they'd show up in the middle of the night just to communicate with friends and family members, not just those, but relatives as well. What do you think about those relatives, Peter? I do have any considerable doubts. But hopefully, Emily didn't show up for Rhonda's show. Rhonda's show was right about that, her first show of the entire visit. It is 15th anniversary, I can't believe it. Emily didn't show up for that. She missed it too. Oh well. Are you doing something on a temporary basis here at HSN? I'm trying some other work. I had to work with Shannon. Who was that, Big Shannon? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Matt, I guess Nikita was working with Big Shannon, which was why she had to miss the first show of Rhonda's anniversary visit. Oh, well. I'm sorry to hear that, but 
I need some lasting impressions when a friend has to have those. Yeah. Amy has been a mainstay on beauty report for such a long time. Oh well. A friend would love to react to her. Do you mind, Peter? Are there any friends and relatives having a lot of fun? Making paper copies? Yeah. They were making paper copies. Somebody was right about that, which means that Eddie told somebody about making paper copies back in January. Oh, that's right. What do you think, Peter? I think about a good behavior that might not count like it. And if you don't have to miss out on things, you'd be very lucky with other peeps. Well, I may be right about that, Peter. You sure are, Matt. And with thanks to other peeps, I can't believe Suzanne had an incredible show last night. As much as Amy with exciting beauty items. So, I'm going to have to stick to it. Peter, I may be all right with a lot of other peeps. As far as I know, you're all right, Matt. But it's after 3 o'clock in the morning and we're having a long, long break. May I have your considerable attention if I want to? Oh, well. When many people have had lots and lots of fun, they should show up like smart peeps. I guess that's true when other people have to hang out like that. Yeah. And when things change, they change for the better. Oh, well. I'm sure they'll change for the better. When anyone wants to have chances, they can't take risks, Peter. Why not, Matt? Because they would be all right. They can't take chances. Oh, yeah. They can't take chances with bad behavior. They'll only take chances if they want to be bad. <laughs> but we have to be good here at HSN, right, Peter? Right, Matt. And you know the time when we are having a good time. I had a chat session with Suzanne and Regina, Annette, and Lauren. But Hope was very quiet. And she was standing next to me and Regina and Annette and Lauren. Well, I should be right about that. Lauren had a good show earlier. Oh, well. A friend's name was Lauren. Even, I can't believe that Lauren may be one of Rhonda's new models. Maybe Hope could have a fixture at last. Well, who's up next, Nat? Alice has something for anyone. Unfortunately, Alice is sleeping, possibly with the TV on. Do you mind? A friend of mine had to go to the insurance company. Yep, he did go to the insurance company, all right, Matt. I'm not sure if my car insurance is $200 higher, Peter, but that guy right there spent a lot of money on it. Mm -hmm. And that... Are you kidding? I may be kidding, Peter. But why do I have to get a lot of car insurance lately? Oh, well. Guess what? What? More Amy, Nikita. Yep. Yeah, Peter. More Amy, all right. But I missed out on Suzanne and Rhonda last night. Why? I had to do a couple of things with Big Shannon here at HSN. Well, she had a great show last night. Even with brands, exciting beauty, beauty innovations. I need to get those words working. Oh, no. What does a friend have to say in the middle of nowhere? A possibility has to go out when a friend has to go nuts. Oh, yeah. 
things will be alright with a lot of other people, Peter. Oh, yeah. Nikita, you could be volunteering for the next few hours instead of model. Alright. That'll be an important factor. Anyway, I missed out on Rhonda's first 15th anniversary show for sure. Peter! Are you okay with something? Yes, Matt. I really am. But when you're sick and tired of hearing some other people screaming and shouting about beauty, there's a friend in mind who absolutely want to show up, too. Yes. And I know the other guys who are focused, well-behaved, and had no chances on any beauty restrictions. Could that be okay, Matt? Of course. Of course, I should be all right, Peter. And with proper evaluation trials right now, there are people wanting to rush upstairs in homes with two-story access, in this case, two-story homes. Does a friend want to go to a two-story home to talk beauty when she watches Beauty Report on Thursday nights on HSN? Oh, well. Good news for a Beauty Report model. It may have been last week's show, last week's Beauty Report in this case, but I don't have to worry about something. Matt and I don't have nothing to do, Nikita. It's just chat and nothing else for a while. Yeah, and I agree with you, Peter. When people are chatting this instant, I would notice a lot of other people finding their respective plates inside a kitchen at a completely different house. Well, you got to be right about that. And I agree with other peeps. Yes, the same peeps would love to have fun here at HSN. But I'm pretty sure they've had romantic chat sessions one day. And I can't believe it now. Me neither, Peter. And when we work here at HSN, we'd have the best time in the world. So... How will you do for any other people out there? They have noticed their own solutions to problems like those before. So now they had to take numbers in a serious amount of time. Well, you know, that there are other people waiting in the wings to try out and chat with each other. Yes. And that's a fair deal, even for Amy, a mainstay on Beauty Report. Yeah! That is her, and she has a lot of excitement going on this spring here at HSN. Oh well, I bet Amy was out on vacation in January, February, and early March of 2016. Megan decided to substitute for her. Oh well, that would be a great idea. Oh well, I couldn't believe it. Carrie was substituting as Beauty Reports host at that time. I can't believe Carrie was a sub, Matt. Me neither, Peter. Things will go our way, right? Right. And by the way, there is a couple looking forward to fun. Amy liked to see the woman in red, a beautiful guest here at HSN. Well, the before and after pictures are what we have to react to. Well, we know. You gotta be kidding, Matt. There are a few answers for other peeps who want to behave. Well, I may be right about that, Peter. But with precaution, a lot of other people would love to use cautions in the matter. Oh, yeah? You could be kidding. Well, I thought people are involved in sticky situations sometimes. And with numbers being as high as 2 million, we would be all right with that. 
Well, we were talking about money being as high in January, at least on the night of January 15th, going into the 16th. Oh, well, you're right about that. It could be Dr. King Day. In this case, January 15th was Dr. King Day. I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Martin Luther King Jr. Day? Yeah. It sure was Martin, it sure was Martin Luther King Jr. Day back then. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to stutter. Peter, I'm sorry. Oh, well, that's okay, Nikita. Nikita stuttered about Dr. King Day. It happened in January. Oh, well. It was great for you to be here on the night of Dr. King Day, going into January 16th. Yeah, I had fun with Rhonda on January 16th, but I missed out on a show with Suzanne. I'm sorry I didn't mean to miss out. Unfortunately, I am possibly not going to be able to make it for more shows. Either I will make it to the next of Rhonda's shows this visit. Either I will or I won't. We'll find out. Well, either Nikita will or won't make it to Rhonda's next shows for today. But she will decide. We will decide if she wants to make it or not. I love Nikita. She was still in this building when Rhonda's first show was done. It'll be all right. Nikita was still here, but she didn't make it to the show last night. Yeah. Well, she had to be with Big Shannon instead of Rhonda. Yeah, that's right. That's right, Matt. I agree, Peter. 100%. Yes. How about a cutie? Amy is the cutie. <laughs> a lot of other people have trusted her for beauty advice and for whatever it is. Yeah, I know. But a friend of mine would love to have musical notes and numbers. They are found on songbooks. Many songbooks have musical notes as well as lyric sheets. Yes. A friend who wrote lyrics to a song may be the hero. Oh, well. I agree that a person doing makeup for a model will be all right with that. Regina, what's next? Peter, it was nice for me to talk to you last night before showtime. You're right, Regina. I can't believe Nikita missed out, Peter. She'll possibly either miss out on the next shows or not. We'll find out when Nikita is going to get back to Rhonda. Okay? She wouldn't be with Rhonda for her first show today. Oh, well. Well, I should be excited about it. Matt, I was very disappointed that Nikita was not showing up for the show with Suzanne last night. Oh, really, Peter? I can't believe it. Well, me neither. You're going to have to go nuts without a disappointment for many people. Yeah. And by the way, who's making numbers? Some people's necks don't hurt. Well, got to be right about that. Peter, are you okay with something really close? Yeah, I am okay. I just need water and many snacks. Oh, well, there are all sorts of snacks in the vending machine. Somebody might have to pick them up for you. Yup. 
There sure will be things in a basket. Yes. Yeah, really. I could count on you for a couple of things. One, to make sure that a friend is safe here at HSN, and two, the number one thing that a model would do is hold up for a pack of bubble gum or whatever confectionery is needed by any models. If models need bubble gum and other confectionaries, they can't forget about it. They can't forget about confectionaries, Peter? No, they can't. As a matter of fact, there are dear fans of HSN waiting in the wings. They would like to talk to some other people and make numbers. I've got some tea, and I would like to drink it this early in the morning. Thanks to you, you'll be all right with it. <sighs> oh, no. A friend was jumping through the gun for eight people. There were two presentations with Amy that people were watching this early in the morning. And I'm very excited about it, Matt. I am too, Peter, because of Rhonda's 15th anniversary of her association with Shapewear on HSN, which is today. Yep, today. And it's going to be very absolutely amazing here. Oh, you're right. Peter, I can't believe Michelle made her launch last year. Absolutely. It's probably one of the best with Michelle. Yeah. Oh, well. It was an unfortunate event. A friend in mine had to go nuts with other friends. We are dealing with many other parts of people who have been good enough here at HSN this early in the morning, and I would like to talk to other people. Right about now, they were in good hands with the others. Well, maybe I'm right, but perhaps the most important part of a daily nutrition supplement, sometimes it is a daily nutrition supplement, but other times it isn't. It all depends, Matt. It sure does, Peter. Even Michelle takes some vitamins whenever she wants to. There are different types of vitamins. Daily vitamins and weekly vitamins, for sure. Oh, well. There are vitamin supplements, Peter. I noticed it, Matt. You should be fine with me there. As we go along, we have some time to show some funny moments here. We're all explaining the rules, and we don't know why there are any consequences in that matter, Matt. Peter, a friend in mine would love to buy an audio CD with great music someday, and I'd show up with only five or ten copies of the same CD. Who cares? Yes. And Regina's cell phone was ringing when we were sitting in the cafeteria one day for lunch. Maybe I didn't have any questions about it. Many questions have been answered by loyal fans of HSN. And I agree with many other people who have noticed the problem for any volunteer worker here at HSN. Well... Michelle has drawn higher numbers for many lifestyle viewers on the network, I think, is WeTV. Yeah. She used to be on WeTV before HSN, and she hosted the show called The Lifestyle List. I remember watching The Lifestyle List with Michelle, which leads into her debut on HSN several months ago and possibly two months before Hurricane Irma. Yeah, I can't believe Irma was hitting Michelle's house 
and knocking out power. Oh, well, Michelle's house was one of the many houses that were knocked out of power by Irma. I may be right about that, Matt. You sure are right, Peter. Nikita, do you have any questions about that? Yeah, what? What is it? Michelle's house being out of power from Hurricane Irma. Oh, yeah. Well, I was with or without power from Hurricane Irma. Yeah. You may have been without power from the massive storm last year. But it'll be all right with that. Regina, what do you think about Irma? I had to lost power to my house. Well, I agree more. What do you really think of Hurricane Irma and how you survived it, Regina? Well, uh, I actually had did not have power. I actually didn't have power from Irma. Oh, no. Oh, well, the model scene on the best of HSN today may have not had power from Hurricane Irma, Peter. Well, you should be right about that now. The model who wore Torres was without power from Hurricane Irma. I can't believe she was without power from Irma. Oh, look. You were closely all right with that. I'm not sure if Lauren had power or not from Hurricane Irma. Hi, Lauren. What do you think? Well, Irma knocked out my power, so I was without power. Oh, well. It could be that Nikita's house had lost power because of Irma, and I agree more. So, I guess that Hurricane Irma was knocking out power to Regina's house. Is that right, Regina? Yeah. I lost power because of the hurricane. Yeah. Were you one of the models to lose power in Hurricane Irma, Regina? Yes. I was one of the models to lose power. But very few of them still had power, and they got very lucky. Oh, well. Regina, you got to be right about that. I sure am right about that. Well, who's right about mint candies, Peter? I can't believe it, Matt. But a friend who was looking at a beauty product by Corez. Yeah. She's going to have to deal with some certain types of medications. Oh, yeah. Some people are asleep in the middle of the night, but this early in the morning, they're still asleep. It's true, Matt. It sure is, Peter. But with loyal thanks and praise, I did not ask for a lot of insulation. Well, ladies, you got to tell the Harrisons about losing power due to Hurricane Irma a little later on in the break here at HSN. But Michelle was originally a late night to early morning host on HSN. But, and she continues to be only in the 2 a.m. slot sometimes before the best of HSN. And we're reacting to that Corez model using soap. Oh, yeah. And she was wearing a blue shirt indeed. I believe she was one of the HSN models to lose power because of Irma. Oh, well. It was a difficult time for each and every one of the models involved. Michelle's husband, Chris, was involved in the hurricane as well. Anyway, I can't believe Michelle's house was okay here in St. Pete. She stayed home to ride out the hurricane and had to shelter in place just like very few HSN hosts. 
Oh, wow. She, I can't believe she was one of the very few HSN hosts to sit home and ride out the storm sheltering in place. Yeah. There were many HSN fans from the Tampa Bay area who had to shelter in place. I agree more. There were cats looking good. This incident. There was a time for people to evacuate in a certain format. Well, you gotta be right about that, Nat. I promise, Peter. I will be very good. Well, when other people had noticed solutions to many problems, I thought there would be last chances. We don't have to take chances. A friend of mine would love to have to hit the jackpot in a casino in Las Vegas. I bet Eddie's sister Kelly likes Swiss Miss chocolate. Yeah. And I do believe she does. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Michelle nailed a good product. Oh, yeah. Two presentations with Amy, one with Michelle. And here we go. Focus on beauty for the folks at home. And then vitamins. And then Body Solutions 15th Anniversary. Presumably an encore presentation of today's special from Rhonda Peter. I agree, Matt. Uh-oh. We said the wrong names. Oh, sorry. I agree, Matt. Well, me too, Peter. But we're sorry for saying the wrong names. We tried to say the right names, but couldn't. What a blooper here at HSN for all of us. All right, you should be right about that. Back to Amy for an exciting beauty product that can't be beat. Well, you gotta be kidding. Both of us here at HSN are good volunteers. We do lots of volunteer work for hosts. We talk to hosts. We talk to models. We talk to other people who work here at HSN. But most of all, we even talk to models who are pets for our shows related to pets here at HSN. Those pets are models in addition to human models. Oh well, what a great group of models here. Well, I agree that safety has been our top priority here at HSN when it comes to hurricanes. I survived the Big Four of 2004, but over a decade later, there was Hurricane Irma. Uh, yes. There sure was Hurricane Irma, Peter. Really? Really, Matt? <laughs> I like it. Wait a second. Are you okay, Peter? That's what a friend had to ask me. And I said, yes, I'm okay. Well, the thing that I was okay is fine. As far as I know, Amy was nailing the most famous slant tip precision tweezers for women who love to wear beauty products. Beauty mavens, in this case. It may be true, Matt. Well, you're right about that, Peter. But I don't care about precautionary and preparedness actions when it comes to preparing for a weather emergency. We did prepare for a weather emergency several months ago. That was Hurricane Irma. Right, Peter? Right, Matt. It sure was Hurricane Irma. But we had to leave here for a couple of days, then get back to work after the storm passed. I agree more. Yeah. You're paying close attention to other people here at HSN, especially models like Regina. Well, 
Cantley's she's been with HSN for so long. A lot of people love Regina. Yeah, they do. And by the numbers, Regina was a very busy model doing a lot of shows, mostly Rhonda. Yeah, mostly Rhonda. Now, I agree, Peter. We don't have to change channels if we get cable sometimes. A friend of mine would love to watch her favorite channels. But I watch my favorite channel. It was a common channel about men's programming or rock music. Well, the best thing is it would be all right with that. A friend ate fruit roll-ups one day, which is a favorite of Peter's. Hey, Nikita, a friend ate fruit loops one day, which is a favorite of Peter's. Yeah, fruit roll-ups could be Peter's favorite for sure. If someone wants to eat fruit roll-ups, they could. All right. Are you soon going to be with the Harrisons, Eddie and Kelly, later on? Yeah, I may still be with the Harrisons. After missing out on the first show of Rhonda's visit with Suzanne last night, I can't believe I'm still with you and Matt, Peter. Well, you're all right with that, Nikita. But with thanks to many volunteers who have done lots of volunteer work here at HSN, to say the least, they've been fabulous and they've been staying in touch with other volunteers. Volunteer work could be a good thing, Nikita. It sure is. I have been so much in a mess lately. Well, were you in a mess, Nikita? I sure was in a mess, Peter. Well, a friend was in an awful big mess one day, and he thought he had some questions to ask Amy one day. Oh, yeah. Well, I agree that way. The same friend is Matt. Well, I asked Amy, do you have blonde hair? And she said yes. Oh, yeah. Well, let's have another chat session sometime soon. We discussed this in a different place in our studios one day, and a more important conversation will follow. We know about the insured guidelines and the basics loaded for other people who do have time periods. Oh well. I can't believe the fun has just begun, at least for some people. I don't have moments and flashbacks. There were certain flashbacks on the first show of Rhonda's visit with Suzanne last night. One of them was a must-see, a can't-miss, and a smash hit. Well, you got to be kidding, Matt. That's what I told a friend about a recent structure. That's what a friend told me about a recent structure. I'm sorry. Um, you got to get those words working again now. Oh, I'm sorry, Peter. Sorry, Nikita. But if you have any questions about fashion, you can drop us a line in a different room one day. All right, I will. Well... A friend's throat was sore, and he ended up at a hospital. Oh, yeah. Bayfront? Yes. A good hospital, indeed. The hospital had some important medications, mostly. The medicine that would work for many people who love to have it. Yeah. I doubt there were numbers. Yes. Specifically... It'll be all right, Nikita. Yeah. I need another drink. I need another drink right now. Yes. Things are okay with me. And, by the way, 
we are getting back to basics, and the things we need are like Nikita's things. Well, Nikita, why did you miss out on the first show of Rhonda's visit last night? I had to work with Big Shannon after she got off the air at midnight. Well, I can't believe that. What were you talking to Big Shannon about? Anything I would like to talk to her about. Yeah. Uh, and sometimes, can you talk to Amy? Yeah, I can talk to Amy. But I may be back on the air at HSN as a model real soon. But right now, I'm some sort of an off-air personality. Oh, yeah, on a temporary basis, I guess. Either that or a permanent basis. I don't know which way Nikita should switch off. No ways. I'm doing a different stint here at HSN. I'm not a model right now, but I'm doing a different stint. Well, Nikita, you're actually a volunteer on a temporary basis until you get back on the air as a model. You're right, Peter. Well, Nikita's right. Uh, I can't believe Nikita's right, Peter. <laughs> I'm right about that! Woohoo! Oh, well. You've got lots of vibes, Nikita. I sure do have lots of vibes. <laughs> did you miss out on Rhonda's first show? Yeah, I sure did. And I will least likely miss out on Rhonda's entire visit today. You may be right, Nikita. Well, we hope that Larry, a friend of Lou, a good guest on HSN. Lou would have had Larry by now. Oh, uh, we are going to four o'clock hour and having a lot of fun. As far as we're concerned, a friend could draw higher numbers here at HSN. Oh, uh, we'll find out when we get rolling. Yeah, a friend would have to roll pack of bubble gum. Well, we talked about bubble gum sometime earlier this year. A little bit earlier this year, to say the least. Let's get back to basics. Are you okay? Or do you have some bad numbers? Here's the next question about the Nurse Jamie thing. Oh, that's good. Nikita, are you drinking tea like me? Yeah. I had a good feeling of drinking tea this early in the morning. It is a different drink from Coke. Well, Nikita may have drank Pepsi instead of tea or Coke. Uh, a friend of mine would love that Coca-Cola product. But guess what? Even more Amy. <laughs> Friends get very lucky with even more Amy in the best of HSN. Plus, Colleen with the vitamin expert himself, Andrew, later on. Yep, you're exactly right. Yeah. We're going to deal with something very interesting here at HSN. And by golly, you should be all right. Yes. And... We may have had a chance to talk to some models about preparations for the worst of a hurricane. Amy knew it, and she realized she had pain and brawn by then. Oh. I had a drink of tea just to relieve my throat. I had a drink of tea to relieve mine. And sometime soon... I would be all right with that, but 
we were very lucky and we had lots of interests. A model was interested in a lot, a lot of fun these days. The interest was final. Oh, it was. Are you right about that, Peter? That's what you told me. Are you right about that, Peter? Yep, that's what I told myself. <laughs> I'm sorry about telling myself that. Well, then you said it, Nikita. Yeah. Let me say that again. Are you right about that, Peter? Yeah. A friend of mine would love to have cereal one day. Yep. Cereal is good for some people. Patients in hospitals may tend to have cereal in a matter of moments. I thought I would talk to somebody and have notifications on a push notification on a cell phone. Oh no. I still get push notifications on my cell phone. Whenever I have time to have a text message or incoming phone call or whatever is important. Social media? Yeah. I may be right about that. Uh, Nikita may be right about that, but I'm not sure if she is or not. I'm right. I'm right, gentlemen. <laughs> You're absolutely right about that, Nikita. Did you like Adam on a Monday night? I sure did like Adam on a Monday night. I guess he's from the UK. Is that correct, Nikita? Yes, Adam is from the UK. <laughs> Whoa. I don't care about that. There are family members waiting to talk to me. Oh. Can you believe it? I know I can't, Nikita. Peter, what's going on with other people? Yep, there are fun things waiting in store for us today. The day of Rhonda's 15th anniversary of her association with Shapewear on HSN. But you missed out on the first show with Suzanne last night. Oh, well, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to miss out. <laughs> you got out to go to the Harrisons. Eddie and Kelly will be with you, as well as Regina, Annette, and Lauren, and Hope. Oh, well. Plus, Sonia didn't make it to the first show of Rhonda's visit last night. Neither did Emily. And they will appear with us first, and then the Harrisons, Eddie and Kelly. Oh, you should be right about that. And when things change, I may have to steal good behaviors. Hi, Sonia. Hi, Peter. How are you? I'm doing great, Sonia. Like Nikita, I missed out on, on the first show of Rhonda's visit. Oh, well. This is Emily, and she missed out on the first show as well. Emily missed out on that first show? I can't believe it either. Nikita, Sonia, and Emily missed out on the first show of Rhonda's visit. For that, there was only Regina, Annette, Lauren, and Hope. Oh, well, can't believe Regina, Annette, Lauren, and Hope worked that first show last night. Sonia, are you all right with that? Yeah, I am all right with that. Yes. Bad cough. That's a bad cough for you, Peter. I'm right about that, Nikita. 
and another bad cough for you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cough. <laughs> but it'll be alright, because I was talking to Suzanne last night. I was talking to her, Regina, Annette, Lauren, and Hope. I didn't talk to Hope. I only talked to Suzanne, Regina, Annette, and Lauren. I'm so sorry. <laughs> ah. Well, Lauren has been a successful model here at HSN. If you like Lauren, maybe you're going to love Lauren. Nikita, you are still an expert here at HSN. Well, I am not a model on a temporary basis, in case you didn't know. Right. <laughs> uh, that was a pretty good cough for you. Oh. Oh my god, Peter was into this much coughing effort. <coughs> oh no. That's yet another bad cough for you, Peter. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. You gotta be kidding. I gotta be kidding, too. We all have to be kidding around here at HSN. Right? Right. Are you excited, Nikita? That's what you're telling me. Are you excited, Nikita? There you go. There you go. I could be all right. Well, I didn't mean to be a bad guy one day. You were a bad guy at the moment, though. Oh, Nurse Jamie, a product brand, was right about that. <laughs> Nurse Jamie is a popular beauty brand. She focuses on a triangular beauty tool. That will work. Also known as triangle. That's right. It looks like it's in the shape of a triangle. Kidding or not? I am kidding, thanks to you. Well, you were having fun working Rhonda's past shows here at HSN. That's right. I sure did. Remember Kara? Yes. I can't believe that Kara is no longer with us. Me neither, Nikita. I know who Kara was replaced by. Emily replaced Kara. Oh, yeah. I sure did replace Kara, all right. Hi, Peter. How are you? I'm great, Emily. And things are going nuts for many people. Calm down, okay? Yeah. I'm gonna have to work on something real bad. Yes. <coughs> that was a pretty good cough for you. How dare you cough like that? What are you doing, sir? Drinking a little bit of tea? If there is any left in that bottle? Sure. Oh. Why, Matt? Matt, it was good enough to talk to me back in January, and so was you. You were good enough as well. Well, thank you, Nikita. There's something new around town here at HSN. One of the new things that will work is something good enough. And at the moment, I thought there was fun. But there actually wasn't one day. Oh, well. A friend went over and noticed us chit-chatting about water one day. And I could talk about it. The most important part of a balanced diet, we know about a friend of mine. My dad was on a balanced diet. 
but I am a 40 year old who wants to have fun. My friend was really using a foot cream made by Carol's daughter, one of our beauty brands here at HSN. Haha. <laughs> Is that true, Matt? It may be true, Peter. Who cares about that? I care. And to say the least, there are friends talking about water, and the more important things that they talk about. Yeah. And you may be right about that. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure the moment a friend of mine would love fun was all right. Yes. I agree more with Carol's daughter. Ah, uh, yes. A friend in mine would love to do something good. I guess Kelly is a good woman's daughter. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, yes. You should be next to face great woe sometime. Oh, no. We might not face great woe here at HSN. <laughs> yeah. But that's not the point. If that really was, we would be in a lot of trouble by our bosses. But way to go. You could get us in a lot of trouble. Oh, no. There was a friend of mine who would love to have a lot of fun. Yes, but that was not the point. If that really was, little Shannon was doing a good show with Carol's daughter herself. And I agree more, 100%. Little Shannon will be with Michelle on HSN today, 7 to 9 a.m. Rhonda will be on at some point on the show today. Well, we will be alright with that. And a friend of mine would have to have a lot of numbers. I drawn high numbers as a volunteer here at HSN. I've done a lot of volunteer work for a lot of years. Is that true, Peter? Yes, Matt. And with thanks to many peeps, we would be fine. As a matter of fact, we sure would. And do you think of numbers? Yeah, I sure do think of numbers. The number five is a good number. Kids would love to learn the number five. Nikita doesn't know anything about it. Well, I may have known about numbers when I studied in high school one day. Learning the number five was a pretty good deal. Oh, yeah. A friend of mine would have to go to court one day and then get the paperwork, and he was noticing it. I guess the fun has just begun around here. The fun has just continued. The Harrisons are starting to get out of bed, and where are they right now? They're in our HSN lounge, so they're getting ready to walk to us, or we're actually going to go to them in a moment. Well, in a few short moments, we will be able to go to the Harrisons, Eddie and Kelly, and see what they're up to with Rhonda's 15th anniversary visit here at HSN. Could this be true? It sure is. At the start of 3 o'clock, however, I talked to Susan for a short bit. I haven't had any concerns about TV viewing, Peter. Me neither. Me neither, Matt. <laughs> well... You feel like our boss here at HSN. Well, we actually have a different boss now. Oh, can't believe Mindy left a long time ago. 
I'm pretty sure somebody hired little Shannon to be a host on HSN in 2014. She went on to start hosting HSN today. Oh, well. She went on to start hosting HSN today in 2016. Oh, well. It happened a couple of months after little Valerie came here for the first time. We noticed a solution. We were in the midst of another day. Anytime soon, we'd make record-breaking strategies. We made it into another hour of fun and excitement. But, yeah, you may be guessing Oh, look at that. Are your friends doing any good here at HSN? Well, as a matter of fact, maybe. A friend liked mint candy and had other things in the future. But with little Valerie in the best of HSN right now, she's had lots of things in her life. Yeah, and she has had a lot of fun. Why? She's a cutie here at HSN. A keeper that could help people out. The most popular FHI stylist expert is on the tape right now. It's pre-recorded, like Valerie. Little Valerie. Oh, yeah. The whole day was full of fun, but who cares about all that? When we had to switch to a backup studio in Nashville because of a hurricane, we would be able to do more and more, but focus on beauty may continue. Is that true, Matt? Yeah, it sure is, Peter. Now let's get to work right away. All right. I bet Susan will have to put something to the ultimate test. She's doing a puzzle with her brother. <laughs> I do believe. The opponent doing the puzzle isn't actually Susan's brother because he's somewhere else now. The opponent is actually an HSN fan. Susan likes to do a puzzle with our, many of our HSN fans. The fan would love to help her put the puzzle together. Oh yeah, go ahead, Susan. Help that fan put that puzzle together. Uh, oh well. When a friend looks out the window, he'd find out that it is still dark outside. So it's too dark for anyone to go outside, and it's all right with somebody. We would actually be fine and have little to no respect on other things. Here at HSN, it's still fun for many. Yep, we're showing up through numbers. Yes. And friends who are working hard to deal with things that they may have done in their lives here at HSN. And we're showing up in many circumstances. But due to the possibility of being a volunteer here at HSN, I've been a part of the fun for about two memorable decades here since 1998. Yeah. Actually, since very late in the year, before 1999, I've been there. I've been with you guys every step of the way for so long. <laughs> Susan and I were working together for several months now. What do you think, Peter? Well, I think about befores and afters. Also known as before and afters. I'd like to call them befores and afters, but I'd go with before and afters instead. That's right, Peter. Maybe we should love the other people straight up and look forward to lasting impressions. 
are you being told that there was a snack one day? Yeah, there really was a snack indeed. But thanks to you, we were quite lucky to bring a part of our lives to HSN. But little Valerie's doing good in her life right now. Yes. Anyway, there are many hosts having fun. I bet a live look at a friend who wants to wave hi. Indeed, she was waving hi the whole time. Yeah. And I was counting on other people. Why can I count on so many people in so little time, Peter? Does anyone have to go through all this time? Sure, why not? Why not have the same friend go nuts and take fully loaded burritos in the oven? It was only 80 degrees when going to the cafeteria to put in fully loaded burritos topped with nacho cheese sauce, beef, beans, and a little rice. I could have believed it. I may have believed it. Yeah, you may have believed it indeed. But I was busy enough to point out that there was a lot of fun here at HSN for many people who love it. Yeah. And by the way, there are countless people noticing us as they have a lot of fun here at HSN. We know that there's a lot of people in distant situations. They've ever dealt with each and every one of the situations specified. Yep, and they may have done that already. Well, been there, done that. Nikita has known a lot of situations in the past. But I do believe I'm getting ready to entertain my friends. So, get back to basics. You'll be back to basics in no time. Well, you may be right. Who cares? Little Valerie cares. We may be excited, Peter. We were excited one day. Yeah, we were. Were we? Well, yeah. When a friend of mine wants to have some fun, well, that's the way to do it. 